episode of the podcast man the podcast where the host which is me roman also known as the arman will talk about stuff that have happened and or will happen and uh, yeah welcome it's been a short while i mean the last official episode was uh, a long time ago when was it i think yeah ah no 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 wait somewhere in yeah october middle october so it, it's not been actually that much about a month so but yeah Uh, okay, and my brain is already failing me. <laughs> oh, wow, cool. Nice brain. Um, yeah. Uh, I want to talk about a few things. I mean, a few things that have... That I thought about a little bit. Like, literally a little bit. And a little bit about other stuff, too. Like, for example... Okay, brain. Now you, now you just. Wow. <laughs> when I make the t when I make the timestamps of this episode, it's going to be mostly just Roman brain just, <laughs> just, just completely. Um, yeah. Talking about some videos. Yeah, that's better, because. In the last editing stream, which happened on November 18th, okay, a few days ago from this quote-unquote recording, I have finished editing Hello Charlotte episode 3 for real. And also VTuber Connect. What does this mean? Well, it simply means that when those videos come out, it is the end of the playthrough. So much that right now, like literally at this moment of in this un quote unquote recording, because if you didn't know, I do most of these episodes actually on my over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash the Armin. Because uh, it's it, it, I like streaming and combining it with a podcast. It's it's kind of nice. Yeah. In this very moment, I am currently exporting VTuber Connect Supercut, and that thing is long. First off, if you if you if you think if you watch the Omori Supercut. 17 videos. 8 hours. Well, 
Um, VTuber Connect has 18 videos. So. <laughs> and Omori in a video form had 17. You see there? So, uh, yeah. That's a, the VTuber Connect cut is 8 hours and 40 minutes long. Without any little addition except for one tiny bit because I decided now for every super cut or for some longer super cuts that I will split the videos or well indicate the videos what part it is actually because hey maybe you came across the fifth video from the fifth video on my channel but when the supercut comes out you have no idea when is the fifth video when was I when was the first time I got to enjoy this well that's how that's now how it goes now and yeah but yeah I mean it's not it's not only the um, me to connect supercut but I have also exported the Hello Charlotte episode 3 supercut, meaning <laughs> okay, I need to I need to see how much is this. Um, five hours and nineteen minutes of Hello Charlotte episode three. That's how you can also see how how much this is like the first two supercuts of Hello Charlotte, aka episode one and episode two alone are four hours long. And episode three is five. Okay, actually not the two. Hello Charlotte episode one and episode two, the supercuts are combined four hours and forty-five minutes long. And yeah, Hello Charlotte episode 3, 5 hours and 19 minutes. And we don't count the Heaven's Gate with it. And well, why do I say this? Well, because um, I have already exported the first half of the Hello Charlotte Mega Cut, which comes out definitely in 2025. Why? Well,. Yes, in 2025, on, and I have to, I, I look this now up, but episode one release, so, going directly to the wiki, um, June 17th, so, June 17th, 2025. Actually, both Mega Cuts are going to release both halves because the first half is episode 1, 2, and Delirium. And the, and the second part is episode 3 and Heaven's Gate. I, need, I don't, also, don't mean also just episode 3 like you start a game and then suddenly see hey why does it say episode 0 no I mean literally the, the whole episode 3 game episode 0 and episode 3 and not gonna lie after finishing editing also the last episode 3 video I kind of say at the end there that it was an experience like VTuber Connect. It was an experience, a nice experience, a nice series, or well, story that, well, it was long. It was long. <laughs> but it was good. And even at the end of episode three, one of the characters says, Well, that was a long journey, isn't it? Wasn't it? Or something like that. And, well, in the video, I said, Yeah. 20 videos of 13 hours of streaming, meaning 
streaming episode 1, episode 2, episode 3, episode 3 again for the second path because oh yeah, again, episode 3 contains actually two episodes, episode 0 and episode 3. <clears throat> and yeah, out of those 13 hours I have made 11 and a half hours of videos together. Hmm. That is also something. <laughs> like I have just uh, I have I have just erased two and a no one and a half hours of something. And that to make a playthrough series. <sighs> I'm 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 though a little bit happy about this because hmm, again, hello Charlotte. Nice story actually. A bit complicated, a little bit too much gore, like <sighs> a lot of thing actually if I remember correctly. At the end of episode three, a lot of those ends got resolved. Like for example, one in one thing in my playthrough view, the playthrough series of episode one, I asked myself, why do they like to consume soap? And in episode three, well, we get to know that. I will not spoil you what happens because, hey, either you watched the original streams on the archive channel, youtube.com slash at the underscore archive or you just wait till the video comes out which by the way is um on may 15th 2024 and also i can here also say it is kind of impressive that i have with the current upload schedule one at least one video a week I am really seven, about six to seven months just okay with videos. Like, I can literally do, have not to edit till, okay, let's say, uh, June 1st. So, yeah, till then, I don't have to do any more editing streams. Technically, I could just relax, do other stuff. But, well, I like editing and I like to edit my videos on stream because it's kind of fun to revisit all the all the stuff after a long time again. Hello Charlotte. I have started playing the games last year. I have nearly forgotten everything that happened and the videos remind me of everything again. So it's kind of a real learning experience too. And yeah, I find, I find this really nice. Especially, I guess, uh, again, especially on stream, because then people just who have never heard of Hello Charlotte then experience this with me at the same time. And also, then, of course, learn how the videos get edited. And yeah. I have also a few plans now for the future editing because let's say you know my little problem with Heaven's Gate. If you don't know, then um, let me remind you of my little problem because Heaven's Gate is a visual novel. It is a spin-off game of the Hello Charlotte series with, of course, the characters Charles, Vincent, Henri, Felix, Charlotte, Frey, Frey. I don't know how to how to pronounce the name even in, in German or English, but <clears throat> anyway. Oh, also, I forgot about it. The soap addict. <clears throat> um, yeah. I plan to start editing this series in well next year. Before. July 3rd, which is the, the current latest last video that is going to be published. 
because, well, again, Heaven's Gate, even though it's a visual novel, it has no sound. Like, it is completely mute. If you play it, you can literally just have any kind of music in the background. Or even YouTube video, maybe. And yeah, for me as being the editor, I have to add music to the series. The only problem is I have no idea what music I add. Like, do I add it from a different visual novel, aka DLC, b Connect, or do I just use a free to use that, that I also will credit in that description and music for visual novels or do I just do anything else because ah, that is the only thing so and of course also to figure out how to make it how to make it sound that everything is like literally like in from the game but not really I would also actually if I think about it when I make the videos, I will probably put a little information in the description or in the or even in the video itself that says this game has no audio ex originally. All the music that you hear is was edited post production. And yeah, it is so yeah, that is that. Um, but yeah, uh, actually about VTuber Connect, we can talk a little bit about this. At first, <clears throat> the first time I have heard about VTuber Connect is... I don't know, actually. I think it was literally random. Like, I have once heard about the... about the game or about VTubers, which is the reason why I've played, for example, VTuber Simulator or something, or I, I think even Idol Manager was the game called, or even Needy Streamer Overload. Because, hey, maybe I can also learn a little bit about this. But then at one point I heard about VTuber Connect and at one day I thought, hey, why not why not stream it? Have a little have a little little fun there. Just trying it out. Yeah, two hours two or three hours later. Actually I think it's even less. I think it was even one hour. <laughs> if I think correctly, about one hour probably. So I need to go far down in my dark half. No, that is Christmas. That is too much. So the Charlotte. Bin of games. Ah. Ah. Nearly three hours. The first time. And I was amazed. I was really amazed about the first three hours. And it's it was not even the end, of course. And I kind of... During those three hours, I really got interested into the story. So much that I think I won't. I mean, I did it also, put it also in the, into the, I think, the second part of the highlight series. A play for a series, by the way. I also need to come up with a understanding of what, what is a pilot, what is a playthrough, and so on. But um, <clears throat> that the game got so much relatable stuff that I decided, hey, you know what? I will make a playthrough series out of this. And yeah. I I need to <laughs> I need I need to see one when was this again? When was this? April nineteenth or well April April eighteenth actually because of the Twitch twenty four twenty four hour thing, which I think is is this is this sort of thing also? The site engineer can only what be allowed to be seen on other platforms after 24 hours. Like, 
this 24-hour Twitch exclusivity vault thing, or is this gone now? I have looked uh, about this also. Just saying, when they announced that, hey, you can now multicast on other platform without any restrictions. Okay, a few rules are there, but if if you want to stream, for example, if I could now stream on YouTube. I would do that. But yeah, I have looked around about this vault exclusivity and nothing came up. So maybe it's gone. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But yeah. <clears throat> so April 18th. That means seven months ago. Wow. I mean, I can actually just yeah, seven months ago. <laughs> why do I, why do I, why do I do math when, when YouTube directly says, Hey, bro, the word that you that you uploaded, it has been seven months. But yeah, during those seven months, 18 videos, those, yeah, seven months ago, it started this. And well, now 18 videos got created. All of them have... Either something relatable that or well that I think relatable or not. Maybe you find something relatable doing either your playthrough or just watching my videos. It's okay. What you pick. And yeah, at the end at the end it has <laughs> at the end. 60 I related to this game 62 times I've also said in during the editing streams why but mostly it was because it tackled about something that was very well that, again I relate to either by I had the same experience or the dialogue has something that I just oh wait that's me or at one point this is also important in at one point somebody tells a story I will not say who if you watch the editing streams you know probably who and they talked about a specific f per other person and even in the video I even put out all the, all the, not really, it was not one concept, not one moment, complete moment that I related to, but literally every sentence that was there. Like, click, oh, I relate to the sentence, click, oh, I relate to, relate to the sentence too, click, oh, no, no, I relate to the sentence very much. Something like that. It, yeah. <laughs> Even, and I have made even the, I think, yeah, I have two clips of this where in the second to last video that I also inputted into the video after the editing stream, um, where I said that this specific moment I relate very much. Also, if you if you want to ask one point, um, again, seventeenth part, which comes out on May 29th at thirty five minutes and twenty nine seconds, that is the moment where I will set this exact thing. And yeah, I I don't know what to say there now. It is. VTuber Connect is, well, an experience. Boy, I really just want to tell you, if you haven't played it yourself, play it, especially if you're a VTuber or a viewer of a VTuber, because it gets very interesting. It gets heavy, maybe, but it is, it's getting interesting. And, yeah... Uh, 
time. Something else? I mean... I would like to talk a little bit more about the videos. Like, um... Carver Kanojo. If you haven't never if you have never heard about this game, then let me enlighten you. Carver Kanojo is a visual novel where you're an 18 year old boy just moving to a village, meeting a very pretty girl, joining a club. No, I'm, I don't mean here the, the, the DDLC. Like, it is a completely different club. It's not a literature club. It's a manga club. Considering that manga is also literature, it is technically a literature club. So, but still. And, uh, yeah, it is a very interesting game. I don't know. It's a very interesting story. Because um, the reason why I played this on stream was, and I have said this many, many times, is because... I have played this exact game many, 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 many years ago. To the point where I can call this the first visual novel I have ever played. And mm, I have gotten the same route as back then, but it is heavy. <laughs> Like, even if you go on Steam, what you will definitely see is the, is probably the, every review of this game. So, I will check this out right away. So, Karawaka Nojo. So, yes, I am, I am old enough. Yeah, so boy, it, it tackles some uh, some other stuff, but um, mine it says in the description it tackles uh, some sexual themes, my language, alcohol use, it, there's some blood, but yeah, um, on Steam there is literally the highest, one of the most helpful reviews is not recommended, and it talks about this one specific topic which is very heavy in this game i would like to say about about what this is but i would really rather just tell you to read it yourself it is the reason also why i in the series i have put um from part two onwards a little disclaimer which with exactly this thing kind of I mean, as mm, I said, it is haha, it contains haha -ha language, which in terms means that it, it, it is um, that this specific topic is very heavy, very heavy, and I don't want to misinterpret it, misinterpret it that much. So, yeah. And funny enough, the fourth part of that series is also the one where this is the heavy thing. I mean, it, it was actually mentioned in the second one too. Which, funny enough, when I stripped it, when I saw that specific word, I just say, nope, I will, I will, I can, I will not say this word. And even when it happened the second time, I just say, mm -hmm, yeah, uh, no, no, just no. No, because <clears throat> considering that this game plays in the year 1997, I still don't very, feel very comfortable of even saying this, if, even in private. So, yeah. And yeah, at the end, it was also something very interesting. The game itself and well it will the, edit, the editing will be also very interesting too. <laughs> also right now also the super cut of Vitable Connect just finished. Just as a as, as a little side note here. So, 
we'll move it also right now into the folder that has all the other super cuts in there, like the Mori super cut, the Hello Charlotte mega cut, episode one super cut, episode two super cut, episode three super cut, the Mad Father super cut, and did I already, did I already say a Mori super cut? Ah, I don't know. And yeah, I will not upload them right away because, well, internet. First off, second off, uh, I don't know when I will release them. Like, when would be a good day to release the episode 3 supercut? When would be a good day for the Beatable Connect so the supercut? And yeah, the mega, the mega cut will be released, of course, June 17th, 2025. Because of release day of Hello Charlotte, because this is a significant day in that series for that series. So, as a little thing that I always do for myself, I release the two mega cuts on that date. And yeah, I mean, I could also release the Reflex, a uh, super cut of Reflex, yeah, which. What I do, but I have thought about it a little bit about what can I actually release as a supercut and what not. I decided to well that a supercut can only be really be be something if the videos are hmm, in total longer than two hours or if well it was if the game itself was not something or well the videos themselves was not something planned because hmm the flex yeah is also a it's a good experience I'm kind of I I will definitely say this right now when the remake comes out, or well, the sequel, reboot, don't know exactly, then I will not only stream it, but it will be a proper playthrough series. But like, again, I just play this because I've, I found it very interesting. Then during the stream, I've said, hmm, maybe I should make a series out of this. And then within that one stream, it should also end it. Which, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that is why there will be no Reflexia Supercut. And, ba -ba 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 Brain. Brain has, has no idea know what to say. Um, ba -ba -dum. Hmm, yeah. Probably that is also the end of that. I mean, it's also funny because one thing. That I've also probably said in, during the first editing stream of. No, actually, I said it also in the during the stream when I played Reflexia because at one point the character talked about that this is uh, well a not very family friendly game of, that, that I played this because I thought this is a not very friendly family friendly game. Like, yeah, <clears throat> like you would expect some spicy scenes or something like that. And yeah, I said that funny enough that I have not experienced, I have not thought of any spicy f scenes except for maybe the first visual novel that I played, and then, well, then I came. To Caravan Kanujo. So, <laughs> from Reflexia, I, I found out that I can replay Caravan Kanujo. Noise. And, yeah. I don't know what to say now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, everything. Hmm. Um, hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Also, why does my tinnitus just right now activated after I wanted to put something away and just yanked my headset nearly off? <clears throat> uh, actually, what I could also talk about, what I actually kind of promoted on my on my socials for why I want to talk about this is actually about something controversial, maybe. Because let me talk about AI, artificial intelligence. Having a computer have its own little brain to think that, that doesn't involve any ma ma medical things. Like, so this thing can then create stuff on its own. And the reason why I think it's controversial is because of mostly AI art. Because my stance on AI is that it is not something to replace humans. It's more like something that helps, supports humans. Like for example, and I have admitted this at once, I have for some parts, I have used AI to, well, <laughs> to help me deliver something meaningful. For example, October, Friday the 13th. I have posted a little poem? Question mark? I don't, I don't know it's a, if it's a poem or not. It, it, I, I, follow, um, I think it's a poem. So let's go with that. Um, yeah, I have created a little poem, but when I talked about this on our next day, I said that I didn't really create it on my own because I had not the right words for everything. So I asked an AI to create me this text. And at the end, it's, it's, it's nice. Does this mean that I just use AI now most often? I mean, I have technically my own little AI on my PC, but this AI is not very better than, is actually worse than any other AI. Also, don't do that, please. <clears throat> what? Uh, yeah. Why do I want to also to talk about AI? Right! One thing that I kind of also got interested in is AI VTubers. Having an AI, an actual AI, just be, well, to create content. The thing is, though, currently, all of the AI VTubers don't completely make their own content. I mean, you could argue Nero Summer, technically, but if you, I mean, a year, about a year ago, yes. But now, most of the streams that Nero Summer does is actually with her creator, Vito. Vito. Sorry. And, yeah, I also saw a lot of copycats, question marks. Because, Oh boy, I've no, not expected so many AI VTubers. Like, I have only, I have only thought of Nero Summer, and that's it. Now I know a little bit more. <laughs> like for example, why W A I Fudef? This guy has created an open source AI VTuber that you can use, of course. And I mean, it is good. It is funny. <laughs> Their AI Hilda. To the point that I, I after stumbling randomly on, on one of her videos, their videos, I will go into this a little bit later. <clears throat> But um, yeah, I then saw all of the videos that I, they have uploaded onto YouTube. And then one day I said, hmm, they always stream at this exact date uh, or this weekday at this exact time. Oh, look at that. They are currently streaming. Maybe I should check it out. 
And no joke, it was funny. It was funny. It was very funny. And yeah, it is. Every time I go into the stream, it is weird for me to to have the thought of yes, I'm talking actually to a computer. Or at the same time, this computer reacts to my comment that I posted into their chat. But well, here's the thing with also AI VTubers. Again, with the it's not completely their content. Because actually an AI VTuber can only be an AI VTuber if they have access to the chat. Because then it will be mostly just they need to somehow create their own little comments they, they can make during their streams. And you could technically say I I could be also like that, like an AI VTuber myself. Like I have problems coming up with stuff to talk about. <laughs> if you haven't noticed. <laughs> and Yeah, this is kinda kinda how an AI VTuber no uh, ba on the baseline works. They just have nothing. They can only react to stuff if they get that stuff from others. As AI actually does. <clears throat> Again, AI art now. And I don't know even know what I wanted to do with this point actually. <laughs> hmm. Wow. I wanted to talk about stuff. About a specific topic. I did talk a little bit about this topic. But I don't know what to do now. <laughs> huh, brain, you are amazing for this. Maybe I should replace my brain with an AI. Like, hook it up with ChatGPT or something. <laughs> Maybe I can be more social, have more things to talk about. Okay, never mind, actually. If you're considering that... This is also a little, bit, a little bit of a problem that AI needs, of course, data to get their knowledge to not be just a computer, but to actually be a computer that actually can talk back. Not, not talking back, like literally say the same thing, but more like literally having a conversation. They need the data and they get the data probably from stuff that is that many people don't like to be collected by our by a third party and well this is well a problem and mm, I have yep brain brain they have this problem that they <laughs> My, my train of thought always comes to this point where I just just jumps down the cliff. Like you have this little train and then you see the end of the on the of the cliff. You want to turn, but suddenly it doesn't really turn, it just jumps off. And yeah, that is my brain. And funny enough. Uh mm, no, I will not talk about this. <laughs> right now <laughs> but uh actually I can talk about this other thing that i i said before that i want to talk about, with what if you're the creator of an ai vtuber and you upload clips compilations whatever onto your youtube channel is the content then yours is it the content is this content then from of the viewers does this belong actually to the viewers are the viewers there is actually the responsible ones that can say their own this content or is it the company that provided the ai behind it and funny enough i didn't follow up about, about this conclusion because I, I did came this uh, came up with this question right now. <laughs> God, I mean, I thought about this, but who actually owns 
the content of the AI V2? Is it the creator? Is it the company who provided the AI? Or is it the viewers that gave the AI questions, comments, whatever? Like, for example, I have made a few clips of WAI full devs streams. Am I the one who 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 had who there? Who 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 am I now an owl? I'm the owl I'm I am now the owl man it seems Am I the one who can just Yeah brain What am I if if I make if I make a clip of an AI VTuber that contains only mm, that the main focus is my comment and the response of that AI VTuber's response is this my content? Is it the creator's content? Is it the company's content? The company of the AI's content? Is it or is it well the mine? My God. Okay, Roman, think for a second. If I make a clip where the whole main focus is my is a comment and the response of the AI VTuber. Who is the right owner question mark, of this content? Is it me who made the com the, the comment that the AI VTuber responds? Is it the creator of the AI VTuber? Is it or is it the company that provided the AI that then the creator then uses for their AI VTuber? Yeah, that is the right question now. And, hmm. Well, it is. This is the thing. <laughs> Whose content is it? And mm, yeah, that is actually all about this <laughs> because my brain, my brain can't comprehend this now. What to say here? Mm. <laughs> Yeah, that is the thing. But in in conclusion of this little, I don't know anymore, <laughs> of AI VTuber and AI in general, what is my stance on AI in general? Well, I want to use AI for me to support me, not to replace me. For example, I have thought for a few times for, oh, actually, for a few weeks to use w AI W AI Foo's W AI Foo Devs open source program to create my little own Roman AI, or maybe even Ron Ron AI, like Ronic Ronic Up AI. I could also just call it Ronic Ronic AI, but nah. Run AI is, 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 is shorter, better, in my opinion. <clears throat> but yeah, I want to do something like this. The only problem is then, of course, well, the thing with the content, of course, is it my content? Is it is it the viewer's content? Is it the content of the company, the priority AI? And yeah, I, I don't want to actually have this. For also for another example is that my my replica of an AI should then provide create AI covers of very good songs that I would like to sing, but I am a little bit too too not good to sing those. For example. Mm. 
in July I have sung a few songs, let's say, and a few, and a few of those songs, mostly the majority, I couldn't sing because I was not really capable to do that. So having an AI Roman sing those songs, for example, would be nice because, hey, it is first of my own voice. That means I can just, it's mine. I gave my own consent to use that AI, to use my own voice, to use it, to use this for an AI. And yeah, it is, it, it helps me in this way. Yes, then I can kind of hear myself how the song would sound if I would sing this. At the same time again, people are probably not very happy about this. I mean, I mean, I imagined myself even a little scenario where people just go to me and ask me, hey, I, did you give this person consent of using their voice to use in an AI? And I just go, um, that voice is mine. So yes, I gave, I gave myself the consent to use my own voice for my own AI that I only use myself. Other people use my voice, however, that is something else. Then I put, and, mm. and yeah, that is that. Like I, w I would really like to use to make to make an AI voice Roman or an AI Roman. But I only want to use it for myself, for my own content. I mean, I could also make make it like completely my use it for myself. But nah, no, no, no. I will only. I it will only replace me in some degree, not completely, but some degree. Mostly for singing. Ninety-five percent in singing. Because those those five percent, ah, eh, they can be something else. From I could use them for. And yeah, that is that. So yeah, I have no idea what to talk about now. Well, except one thing that I come back to um, videos because I have thought about changing my upload schedule again, which if you have no idea what my upload schedule is, you will just go, well, what do you mean by that? I mean, you upload once a week, so it's okay. But hear me out. Let's go back many years ago, back in 2018. Back when I first started editing videos, when I first streamed. You know what my upload schedule was? Maybe a video on Wednesday. Maybe a video on Tuesday or Thursday. Maybe a video on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. That was the, the first upload schedule. Then I changed it into uploading once a week. And here you already think, okay, that's the end. That's the current upload schedule. But hear me out. I'm not finished. <laughs> then I changed it into a video every two weeks. Because at the time I was streaming every two weeks. Like, also, it was not on Wednesday like it's currently is. It was on Saturday when the videos came out. Meaning, for example, on, on the first Saturday in the week, I have I streamed the next week after that the video of that stream from the week beforehand and then the next week another stream the next the week after that a new video of the stream before and so on and so on and yeah that was <clears throat> And I probably hear you already say, but then you went back to a video once a week. We are not done there. 
because then I decided to move all the, the videos from Saturday every two weeks to Wednesday every two weeks. Which at first was a nice idea. With only the problem that it happened during a time where I decided to re-edit the videos. Like the this was back in 2019, by the way. It was in 2019, by the way. The redo series. If you know about this. And yeah. I made a bunch of videos while not streaming a lot during that time to focus on the redo series and then when I finished editing then then I would make more streams. Well, that was a good idea, Roman. Until you notice, oh, oh no. I can't do this anymore because if I do this, then I have, then I need to upload a video of a stream. Then I need to upload on Wednesday a stream that is actually happening next Saturday. And, no, mm, it is, you can't do that. Nah, yet. I think, I hope. And yeah, there's the problem. So then, you know what I then do did? I I don't know actually what I did then do then. I think I made more. I streamed then from two to every two weeks on Saturday, <coughs> from Saturday to once every Saturday. No, it was still two weeks. Hmm? Or was it after? Or I took literally a little editing break where I, yeah, I think I then got a little bit demotivated on editing. And then, well, things happened. <clears throat> to the point where I then said, hmm, yeah, you know what? I will just edit. I will release a video maybe once or twice a month. No, wait, what? Once or twice. I mean, I will release a video one either every month or every second month. Depending on if I had got the mood of it. And it was okay. And I got somehow my motivation back into editing videos. <laughs> and then it just, just, I decided to just go, you know what? A video one once a week maybe something in between there too oh no wait yeah it no it was then still a video every two weeks with a video in between there and then i decided you know what and this happened yes yeah, by the way i will just upload a video yeah once a week but of course i have streamed at that point already a lot more Again, talking about this year, I talked about this in May, yeah, in May, which is then where I then literally went to all the already uploaded videos, which, by the way, I think currently, <laughs> all the current released videos are actually the ones that would I mean the I think the latest video currently that I already edited back then was yeah VTuber Connect Part Five probably or yeah, VTuber yeah actually I, no. well nah, I I oh I think it was more Hello Shot Episode uh, Part Six. Which got released, by the way, on September 20th. Even though, actually, there was a few but, uh, videos before before them, in between that. So, um, yeah. That video, How to Become Friends with the Campus, that should have been released back when I had this two weeks thing. I think at the end of the year, or well, actually right now, maybe this week, maybe tomorrow. I, I can't remember that anymore. And yeah, now it's September. 
got released and now I have enough videos for July. <laughs> and I think this is a good way currently. Except I kinda the reason now we come back to the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I want to make to restructure the upload schedule. What do I mean by that? Well, after a very recent video from Film Theory, like literally it, that video was released yesterday and I have watched this before I started this quote unquote recording. I kind of got the idea to change the upload schedule that let's say for at least two days a week, Monday and Wednesday, those are for playthroughs being like, for example, one for Karwa Kanojo, the other one for Hello Charlotte Heaven's Gate. And then for Friday, a random video that I came up with. Either a random meme video, clip compilation, maybe even just a clip of one of my recent streams, or other stuff. I've, I've thought about this. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I will not say that I will enforce this upload schedule now from this moment on. Oh, no, 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 no. I will think about this a little bit more and maybe, maybe, I say maybe, perhaps, I, it is not clear. I will use this upload schedule in August of next year. And yeah, the reason why August, because it is far away till then, so I have enough time to figure out what things I could actually release. I mean, maybe I could change it with one a random video, then a playthrough video, and then another a meme video maybe, or maybe I just just keep it at two videos a week, or something like that, because. I am a little bit happy about the upload schedule, but at the same time, it's not very optimal. And yeah, that is the thing. Also, if I do the free day thing, then I can say, for example, on Fridays, on specific Fridays, there will be a super cut. And if you I know you probably would ask me, but Roman, can't you just make more videos a week, maybe from every stream that you do? And I would say, yes, I would like to do this. The problem is that I am not very stable mentally, physically, emotionally, I don't know. I mean, I got already told to, that I was emotionally unstable once and I hated that, that person, but what? <clears throat> anyway. But yeah, it, it, I, there are sometimes days where I'm not very happy about myself. That I would like to go to the kitchen, take a little thing and then just do something. That is not very good. So... Yeah, editing video, uh, every stream into a video, not very optimal, which is also the reason why I decided to not call all the playthrough videos actually highlight videos. Because back then, I literally did this, and yeah, that is the reason why I then decided then to, to lose... Wait, what? I didn't decide to, to just go, hey... I don't like editing anymore. I just stop or just keep it a little bit away. Like maybe upload a video once every month or every second month. I don't know. Yeah, that is the thing. And I mean, I thought of hiring an editor for me, but well, the thing is I need to first off search a good and good editor that I can of course hire and I need the financial stability to for this which I currently don't have 
I don't want to say exactly how much I currently have on my bank account. Let's just say it is not very much. And I and I hope I hope on Saturday. Because I hopefully get a little bit of, of a little change money from my grandparents. And why do I say this also like this? Because um no, how, mu how, how much I have eaten today? I've eaten... Six? Five? I don't know, maybe even seven. Spoons of sugar. Yeah. That is... Very not good. <laughs> I mean, I could make myself some, some spaghetti, but... We don't have, we, I, we don't have much that I could add. I mean, I've made spaghetti with um, some goulash. And first of all, that goulash is, was not really self-made. It was more like a jar of goulash that you can just warm up and then you can just eat. I mean, I could also just, I could have just done, done just eating the goulash, but just plain goulash is just... Yeah, there needs to be some. And yeah, we don't have enough spaghetti. <laughs> Not enough pasta. So, yeah. And I also want just to tell you, because it's nearly at the end of the month, it's best that if you want to donate to me, don't completely do it. I mean, if you know you have enough money to sustain yourself for the next nine days or more, or whenever your your next paycheck is is good, but don't. But if you don't, then yeah, don't don't please don't donate, okay? Or buy something from the merch shop. Probably have two merch sub shops. At one point it will be also a third one. <laughs> I will I will not say why. I will come to this when it happens. I currently have no idea if there's still a thing because the current representative just that only told me think about and I have not talked about them after that. Uh, was this even a Korean sentence, Roman? No, it wasn't. Ah, okay, Roman, understand. <sighs> so, to put my to reset my brain a little bit, so it can think again a little bit more, and I have actually nothing else to say. <laughs> if, I, if I think about it. Um, hmm. And it's got this PM right now. At this moment. Nice. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I have really nothing else to say. Um, except... Actually... A few things. I mean, I could... About videos. Back to the first topic again. Because... Uh, yeah, tomorrow... At... I have no idea when I actually start the stream. I will play some... I continue or finish Black Rock Shooter the game. A very, very old PlayStation Portable game that I played once many years ago. And then just not because I came to a point where it just crashed. And then I just said, you know what, fish it. I, I just, I just, I know. Yeah. I still need to fishing grind on that game because the last stream that happened where I played this it's also the last time I have actually played it <laughs> for some reason <laughs> and why do I say finish well because um currently in the game I have literally I'm literally at the last level like literally there are six devils and I am on the sixth one. I have finished the fifth one, 
where I have gotten to beat the pink bunny girl that had that had done something in the previous one, the previous level. Actually, no, it is in in the in the level before that actually. And um, yeah, it's also funny still that um, some characters in that. Oh yeah, right, right. I um that pink rubber girl, nothing. Nafei, Nafei. It's voiced by the same person who gave the voice to the two vocaloids Kakamina Rin and Kakamina Lan. So, yeah, kind of interesting. Especially because uh, I've one, f two things that are very interesting is first off, that the voice actress of the first ball. The voice actor for the first major boss in that game, in the first level, is the same voice actor as Seele from Honkai Impact. I don't know if you know from... Uh, sorry about that. Uh, definitely Honkai Impact. And I think also I talked about this. Probably. No, no. And yeah, I have also learned that uh, another character called Nana is also voiced by... A other Japanese voice actor who voices a character in Honkai Impact. That is the good old me. Right in me. I mean, also, you could also say right in the Shogun. And yeah. That is. was very interesting. Especially because you can hear her as in that cliff I call Yift. I still love this because. For context, somehow the game has has a little bug that sometimes some text just glitches out. And during this one level where we needed to navigate a maze, during one uh, box where it says, hey, in which direction should, would you like to go, left or right? somehow it is the game or this bug glitch i don't know decided to replace the l in left to y to a uppercase y and that's i made the joke with yeft what is yeft i mean it is just a it's a glitched out text that's that's for sure but i made the joke i created this joke now that yeft it's basically just a comp it's just a shortened version of yes left. Mm. Like you would like to ask somebody, hey, in which direction should we go? We go left. What? What? Really? Yeft? Uh, left. And then you say yeft. Yes, left. Eh? Eh? But sometimes also my my brain is also weird. And has some weird ideas and some some weird ideas are just weird. The fact also that I just saw a Steam notification just popping up that somebody is playing a game in Chaos Child, which I don't know about this game. I know it is better than the anime, and I've talked about the, the anime itself uh, uh, many times. I don't like Chaos or Chaos Child, especially first of one character is the literature is the president of the literature club there. Second, the anime is just the. Uh, my major reason why I don't like the anime is just because I there is in an anime you need some kind of fundamentals like what are the characters motivations the main characters motivation what is the world a little bit of world building letting to get to know the other characters or figure or even get the info Oh yeah, this is a, a very very important character that you saw in the intro, for example. Well, in Kale's Head and Kale's Child, for some reason, the end when those fundamentals end is exactly halfway of the series. I mean, this this, this is not so bad if this would be a twenty-four episode long series, or maybe even fifty long, fifty episode 
long series. Or even uh, like One Piece, just three seasons. For the seasons. What do I mean with three seasons? How many seasons does it affect for the seasons? Does One Piece have? But uh, no. Chaos Head and Chaos Dread are only 12 episodes long. <sighs> I mean, technically 12 episodes. I mean, one of them is actually technically 13 episodes long because there's a little special that kind of combines those two together, which would make sense. But even this little special is even less than that. Like it's a, it is a different art style. All the characters that got presented in that once series will are not present in that special and even it's like literally you just go forward you just go forward 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 and then at the end oh those are the characters of the uh, of the other one oh. like literally the half of that special is just or the majority is just just basically if you go chaos head or chaos i don't know exactly which one is it actually from i think chaos head I think Chaos Head. You watch Chaos Head, then you watch the special, and then just where are the, where are the others? Where, where is that character? What, 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 why is it just basically just if I press just forward and just stop a few times there in every episode? All episodes come into one video, and you just go press it forward and just stop at specific points, and then just oh wait, those are new characters, and then you watch Chaos Child, and then. Ah, what kind of stuff did I just watch? Especially at the end, which is even more out of nowhere. <laughs> I would like to tell you what it is, but uh, it's been so long since I have watched that anime, and I, wa I want to want. I I just don't want to. The only anime that also right now comes into my head is Paranoia Agent, which I can till episode four. You're good. After episode 4, for the next... Till episode 12, 13, I don't know. Your brain will just melt. Which is also funny that I got to know that the same person who made Paranoia Agent made also Perfect Blue, which is more fished up than... Which... <laughs> existential crisis. What it means to be an idol in that era. Um... Stuff that I don't want to publicly talk about. <laughs> okay. It's also funny that one other anime that I saw many times was Made in Abyss. Funny enough, I want to watch Made in Abyss. But also for some reason, I don't want to watch Made in Abyss. And I don't know why that why I don't want to watch Made in Abyss. Hmm. Maybe in the last few weeks, December, made in a piece to watch along. <laughs> I mean, that could, that is a good idea. <laughs> Just having a little. I mean, what's better than 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 celebrating Christmas after watching Made in Abyss? Which, as far as if I remember, the first season is basically like the DLC. In a way, it's not directly like the DLC. It's more like you think it is cute, it is nice, everything's just happy. But then there's this one moment, or those two, or three, or multiple, and then you just go, "Oh no!" And then it gets further, "Oh no!" And then it gets further, "Oh no!" And then you look at the episode. Oh no, this is only episode 5 of 12. My god. Of course, I, this, this is not true. <laughs> because, again, I have not made, watched Made in Abyss. I just remember this kind of a quote that Made in Abyss is... It looks kind of cute. You think it's cute. It is wholesome. But then there's this moment. And then you just go, oh no. 
I think it will. I think I got this from some of an, an anime ranking list or something like that. I don't exactly know anymore. Maybe they even said that this was only the first episode. <laughs> Which, oh boy. Oh no. And, yeah, this is all technical. Because, mm, one thing that I can also just remember. What? Uh, one moment, also, right now. I hope you didn't hear that. Please. Just, just hopefully. Um, yeah. Um. Hmm. I have some things planned. Funny enough for December. When I talked about this with made a made an abyss for John. Um I'll let I will tell you right now. December will be a bit different than the normal Decembers because um funny enough, exactly on starting this Saturday but if you watch my streams, you will see a little something popping up in the intro video. And, or well, a starting soon video. And, well, this little thing will increase the more we are getting closer to Christmas. And, well, then stuff is happening. Not brutal stuff, but, but some stuff. I mean, especially I need to figure out one thing I will also say is when. Oh, Jesus. Buddy, you good? I mean, after what I talked before, what? Mm, uh, mm, never mind. Probably not. <coughs> uh, yeah. Um, one tradition that I kind of do now is one week before or one week before Christmas, I do a little karaoke stream where I sing some Christmas songs. And, well, last year, I promised that I will make, sing more songs. And, well, another little tradition is that I release the, the those covers as separate videos over the week till Christmas. And this means that also that, that from 8, December 18th till December 24th, because this is for me Christmas, you get, get two videos a day with, well, some Christmas songs. Sing by me. And yeah, I need to figure out which Christmas songs I need to sing. But that is also not the focus that I wanted to talk about, because um, a week after Christmas, or actually, yeah, from... I don't know if I'm... Hmm, should I make a stream on the 23rd? I don't know yet, but... What for sure is that from 25th till the 30th of December, there will be no streams. Like, at all. Nana. Nada. The reason why is just, well... A little bit relaxing, a little bit of chilling, a little bit of coming together. After Christmas. But um, the, May, the best thing is happening then on the 31st. New Year's Eve. I think is it, oh, it's called in English. I mean, for us, it's called, it's called Sylvester. So. <clears throat> but yeah. On that day, there are two streams planned. One is our next day. The normal stream where I talk about the week. Then watch some stuff to... Quote unquote, love the old cuff and welcome the new one. However, on that day, I decided to do something else for our next day. And that is, I mean, it starts completely normal with talking about what happened the last week, weeks, maybe, depending on when that last our next day happened. And then I will watch, give a little bit of commentary to all the videos that have been released this year. From Sonic Frontiers Part 1 till, well, t 
until Hello Charlotte episode 2 Supercar. Or well actually Delirium because because the Supercat is the Supercat this is just just episode two just combined into one. So yeah it's not that much of a Oh no, actually wrong. I'm not I I'm completely wrong. From the debut the highlight of Moronica's debut stream till Hello Charlotte Delirium. We, I'm gonna watch everything, not completely, just give my little commentary about this. And then I will talk about the, the last two months because it's the last Sunday of December. And because there's two months since the last after talk where I talk about, well, the last two months it's streaming. It will happen then. And then the second stream, which starts at 10 p.m. Central European time is very special because this is the first time that I will stream on literally the New Year's Eve. Okay, I will I will do my little own tradition on what I always do on Sylvester, New Year's Eve. But I will do this in a stream. And this is also something that I talked before to um, a little before of this episode with Twitch simulcasting slash multicasting sales. simultaneous streaming streaming on other platforms at the same time I want that that stream is happening not only on my Twitch channel but also on the YouTube channel at the same time and I have figured out how kind of I mean it is not really complicated I mean I need to Either do it the way that I have currently planned, which is using a little plugin that just streams to YouTube. But the problem is that uh, I have some things. And actually, I can actually. I've completely forgotten what I know. The one thing I can do right now. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. No, I will use you. No, no comment about what. But um, yeah, I have also learned in a recent video about how to stream this in a good way because because oh boy, for that stream, the Twitch crowd gets a little bit of a good thing because they will hear something that. The people on YouTube can will not hear listen to unless they do the same thing that I do. And well, the people who then watch the world, they also have to do the same thing as the people on YouTube because well I will definitely watch a properly copyrighted video. And the way I do this is I will not show the video, it was it will be just the it'll, Hey. It will be just the audio, but because of Twitch's special thing that you can have two audio tracks, one for the stream and one for the VOD itself. Huh? You see what I'm getting there? I mean, it could be dangerous again because the Twitch could just come in during the stream and just go, Roman, no. Just no. You're, you're, you're playing a copyrighted thing, and well, yeah, it is dangerous. But why do I want to talk about this? Oh yeah, well, well, because I wanted to use something else than a plugin. Because what is it? This plugin? What can this plugin do? Well, it just it, it uses the same resources as OBS, meaning that. If my computer already struggles with normal streaming on one platform, then having with this plugin streaming on two platforms at the same time is not very good. Unless, unless I just. Uh, unless what, Roman? Unless. And that's what Roman brain think. Unless I use a service 
that can that I can stream to and then it just splits it to the other platforms. And I know what you're thinking, restream. Yes, I could use this, but money. Yeah, restream costs money. And it's a one time thing. I mean I could also use something else that I kind of found out recently, but I need to configure it on the fly, which not very practical, in my opinion. So, yeah. <clears throat> and yeah, that is that. And I have, I know I wanted to talk about one additional thing. I have completely forgotten the what. Something recent. Um. Ba, ba, ba. Huh. I have really no idea what to talk about now. Like, really, really. I mean, I talked about the AI thing, I talked about videos, I talked about future streams. Um. Oh, yeah, right. Funny enough, I didn't talk about what, what is happening tomorrow because I said, yeah, I will finish with PRS. I am not only gonna play PRS, I also play some PSO2. Yes, it's been some time since I last played PSO2. And yeah, that is really all of it. I, I know I need to talk about something else, but I have no idea anymore what. Hmm. Yeah, that is bad. So if I don't come up with it later, after I end this quote unquote recording, then yeah. I mean, hey, if you want to be updated about everything, you can always follow me on vt.social slash at the armen or vtubers.me slash the armen or twitter.com slash the armen 98 for updates and other stuff. Of course, you can also Follow me on YouTube, youtube.com slash at the underscore Armin for all the videos that are coming out. Like, for example, tomorrow. Um, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, I think, if I remember correctly, um, is the release of Hello Charlotte. Must be a Hello Charlotte part. Uh, yep, Hello Charlotte part. Ba -ba 9 aka the reason why Bennett likes to eat soap or consumes soap I mean, even though it is actually not completely the same thing I, I think I mean it is kind of the reason I mean the other reason is coming later in oh, June but yeah that is that of course, again, you can also join my streams, twitch.tv slash the Armin, with tomorrow being, oh yeah, 1, 1 p.m., 1 p.m. Central European time. And, yeah, you can also, f I don't know, you can just, if you, if you watch, if you're listening to this, then you'll see definitely the, all the, social media links I mean I don't know if you can copy them or not that is the problem I have not figured that out so if you see it then yeah try to copy it if not well typing is always an answer unless well you can't then well I'm sorry I'm really sorry and uh, yeah, that is really all. So, I will also, for the live viewers who are watching this live on well, twitch.tv slash I will redirect them to somebody who's to doing somebody. I'm redirecting you to somebody who's doing somebody. Ahem, <coughs> no, I... I'm redirecting you to somebody who's doing something. Yes, that is the thing. 
Ne, ne, jo, řív, fancová. Now I'm right, they just got, they just went offline. <laughs> timing. I'm good in timing. Um, uh, Yeah, I know I'm, I'm gonna do. Who I'm gonna redirect the, the live viewers. And of course, if you don't, if you if you want to participate in those live viewings, then it's always nice to well, you well follow me on the thing. Yeah. And follow me on the on Twitch. Yes, twitch.tv slash the Amen. If you don't want to then yeah. You can always again YouTube archive channel youtube.com slash the underscore archive. There's also the shorts channel uh, youtube.com slash at the underscore R shorts. I mean there's also uh, the shorts, but uh, it doesn't work. It's it's under the limit, so yeah. I'm YouTube for that. And uh, yeah, I wish you all a wonderful. Oh, okay, never mind. It seems also the person that I just wanted to, re wanted to redirect also just went offline. <laughs> never mind. That's about the. About the <laughs> okay, I'm gonna quickly do. The, I'm gonna quickly just uh, fix this um, in a way. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. In the meantime, for the non-life listeners, I wish you all a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode of the Podcast Man. <laughs>